go ahead and call the meeting to order. There's a, just a couple of things that we need to um, work on. Um, so, under old business, that actually needs to be moved to old new business. We need to move the open house um, for this evening because that was never discussed at a board meeting prior to. To, um, but everybody knows about it. So. Yeah, I know, but we discussed it at the decorating thing, and that was one of the big things that we got in trouble for that we'd be doing business outside the board. Meeting. And I don't want to. I don't want to be even accused of that. Is that for board at five thirty? Six four to six thirty. Four to six thirty. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so the bottom line, here, we just need to move it to, to new business. said um, and, th and then there was a couple other things that about the um, I'm sorry I guess so can we go up did everybody get a chance to read the past four um, minutes yeah. okay I know <laughs> So no, I don't have one more bruise and then somebody will ask, how did you get that help? I have no clue. Mm -hmm. okay. Then right. I just say, my husband said he was sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so did, did everybody get a chance to read the minutes? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Is there any corrections? Um, I do have one point. Um, oh, I, I don't think that did. Right. Just on the club survey questionnaire. Yes. GI. Um, you mentioned that um, you suggested creating a selection process and Karen uh, created, created But I think they should mention, because I had some comments that I was concerned about a selection process, and I think that should be mentioned. And I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. I, I was saying that I was worried that because uh, it's supplied by tax dollars, right? Um, we should not, we can't you know, discriminate. I had, we had to be very careful, but that wasn't mentioned here, and I kind of think that should be. So, just your statement that um, you could say we can't just. Yeah. And suggested that we be very cautious because mm -hmm. this is a tax supported uh, function, and you know we can't discriminate against anybody. But really, though, I mean, I didn't say this then, but just to throw it in now, the only um, criteria we really should have is either residents of Boulder County. Yeah. Well, I think that that's a matter that's going to be addressed during yeah. the meeting. But I mean, so it was discussed, discussed so we shouldn't mention well, it. Well, Boulder minute. County or Longmont. Yeah. I mean, that's that's well, a that'll be discussed later. We did discuss that. Yeah. They, they are, so I don't think aren't technically all residents of Longmont. The, the, so yeah. the so, club should be based. But, I mean, that's a new discussion, but my yeah. discussion was that because it's tax dollars, that we need to be mindful careful. not to discriminate against, against anyone, anyone, including men. Yes, that's right. right. So I, know. I just think that should be mentioned in there. <laughs> But you did bring it up. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll include that. Okay. Thank you. So we'll do that correction. Are there any other corrections or concerns with the minutes? You know, on, on number one, call to order. Um, instead of recreation managers, I'll really appreciate the motion. <laughs> 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 no, no way to uh, probably just recreation staff. Would be able to get under, um, since re recreation managers sued out and then. I was going to say manager. You, just, say, yeah. You've been just referred to that way in previous minutes, uh, but, well, but I, okay, I'll I, just... Um, just just staff. <laughs> just recreation just staff. staff. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you like the pay increase if you're going to be listed that in. It helps for the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> it's really wishful thinking. I hope you put it out to me So any other corrections? Okay. I make, I make one more little correction, and that's only in our um, mission statement. I have the, the word community catalog, but it's a lowercase, so okay. I'll make that little um, juicy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.
Coming down just as I was in the rearview like, oh, mirror. Like, in the rearview mirror is okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then had a work guy and went back and forth. It's like, oh, oh no. the other text. <laughs> I was able to cut down my go around. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we just went over seven minutes. Oh, it's perfect, honey, because it's filled. So, I guess we could take a break while Phil gets up the stairs and, and Kathy is down downstairs to did you see the little barista bar we got set up over there with the special yeah, serves and everything? Lovely. Isn't it nice? Yes. Yeah, so everything but the the steamer and we are we are just <laughs> funky dory. <laughs> funky dory and then some. <laughs> No. <laughs> that's not the super fun. about the about the piece analysis of the report. Did you guys get a chance to look at the report? Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. Good. How are you? We're so excited about this. You have no yes. idea. This is just this is just. I was wondering if I was walking into a trap or something. Yeah, right. No, <laughs> weird jazz. This is so great. And your timing couldn't have been better. You're right, you're right there. <laughs> so if you have this good of luck the rest of the day, you're set. Uh, yeah. You got a chair right over here. Um, thanks. He's going to be. <laughs> He's going to be anyway. So let me introduce myself. I'm Marie McCoy. I'm the chair of the board. And, and the rest of the, you, you know Carrie? Yeah. Carrie and Lee. Yeah. Carrie and Lee. And yeah. Jen. And Anne. And Tony's over here. And then Sue Allen is part of, of the city. Hi. That's Kathy. You're never me. Yep. Sure do. Thank you. I also have not a jump drive if that doesn't connect to the Linux based system, so it should be ready for you not to be problematic. It's like 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 So I don't have any sort of formal presentation. I just thought I would show up and just talk about the process and answer questions. And That's perfect. Has any... We're very excited about it. We can't wait to see what you got. Okay. <laughs> the report was very interesting. Yeah. Really okay. I always wonder, like, this is how I understand things, and if it doesn't make sense to everybody else who's reading it, right. <laughs> or is it just a bunch of like, what are you talking about? The screen may not be very helpful. Okay. For whatever reason, it's not. Yes, I can see the bottom. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Did you turn the lights out? Did that help? No, it's, I had it all set. You saw it a minute ago. Yeah. yeah. It's it's almost like this it is isn't it bright works. enough. Oh, well, your paper's right there. There. That's not the problem. <laughs> well, I can always turn the screen around, around too, if you want to just look at well, it. Once you started, it might be okay. Yeah. I see the. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah it's just not. Right? It's just not bright enough. Is there something cool. showing right now? Yeah, maybe yeah. It's, I, all it's picking up is the, the bottom. Bottom yeah. area. Well, yeah. Yeah. For whatever, for whatever reason. Too oh. at the bottom of the screen. Well, I can start chatting. Basically, all I brought here for the laptop was like the images of the samples themselves, so you can see them in larger detail. I'm, you know, I'm not sure how super helpful that is, but I also brought all the. Uh, the samples themselves. <laughs> Talk about the process. So I'll just go into the process a little bit. So um, you guys contacted me. I looked at the house, looked at the different uh, 
uh, sections of history that would be construction history I had, and then sort of pick out the different elements that I thought would be useful for trying to figure out what the polychromatic scheme would have been if there is different you know, periods of Can you reboot it? Sure. Sometimes when it's when it's on, when you plug it in, it doesn't but it should show up somehow. There you go. That is really weird. It looks like your, it's like it's got multiple. Do you normally have more than one screen? You know, honestly, this is a spare laptop that I just want to add. Oh, boy. Technology's yeah, I love it. I'm sorry, it was a way to just share this. I can't see the lot of it. Well, it's sharing a screen, it's just not seeing the right screen. It's just like you've got multiple screens. Right. It's actually for if you don't use it and do it in a way that doesn't stick. Yeah, right. My husband decided the whole house, we have a smart house, but he decided that Alexa needed to turn on the TV. Which kept you know, the tuner and the television and the Roku thing. Yeah. And so he gave it to the theater. He said, Yeah, I can just push it up. Why is it not? Oh, no, it's very He's fine. He's good. Work. But our neighbor has a stove. His phone will turn his shower on in the morning. Oh, yes. Because yours like, oh, oh, no. Don't no. no. even suggest no. it. No. No. All right, ladies. Is there a way to have a chance to look at the report? I did not look at it. Okay. Everybody's had a link to it for quite some time. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Um, so I go through the, uh, the outside and. These pages here, where I've got like the little numbers picked out, like saying these are the different elements I'm trying to look for, and then I get a little more from you guys as to go ahead with the process. And I come out and I try to take as small of a sample as possible because I'm looking at it under a microscope. I don't need to have like a huge chunk of wood, so about the size of like a small fingernail, and uh, get it all the way down to the substrate. So that means I'm digging into the wood a little bit, so that you know that you've got it all the way um, to the basis layers. Um, it works best, obviously, when there's not been replacement pieces, which I think we found some pieces of the, the trim okay. on the gingerbread, maybe mm -hmm. the barge board is by different terms for it, that have been replaced over the years or at least stripped down from the pair. So you, you see that in the report that, you know, there's only about three layers of paint. That's why not the original paint layer. And then I cast it in a colorless resin, which is something a little different than I do, but I take the little paint sample and stick it in there, and then I use a series of grinding pads, and I grind it down to about 6,000 grit. So there's, this is a 41, which is one that is passed around. This is so bad. I try to polish the edge as much as possible so you can really see a smooth edge without like a really uh, gritty appearance to it. So when the light hits it, it's actually like what you'd be looking at if you're looking at the side of it. And then I use a 6,500K uh, lights on my microscope, so it's supposed to be daylight replicating kind of get like the most exact um, color match as possible. And then the fun part is this book, <laughs> which is the, uh, the Munsell system, which is how I was taught in grad school. And it's basically a color system that has been established for well over a hundred years. And the colors are guaranteed to look the exact same here as they did a hundred years ago. Wow. Which is why when I specify this, theoretically in a hundred years, if somebody says like it's a, a 5R54, it's gonna look exactly like that no matter what. So this book is basically just tons and tons of paint chips arranged in a way where it goes from you know red to yellow with red to yellow to yellow with blue, green, green goes into more of a blue. And so you're just spending time flipping through the pages trying to find out one paint chip that exactly matches it under the microscope. So it's very like a very hands-on way of matching paint colors. And I'll go through that with it zoomed in on the layers and just kind of go down through that layer by layer. Oh, that's fun. Oh, it does hold up. <laughs> yeah. Dying computer. What did you study in college to work in this? Um, undergraduate was anthropology which is such a useful mm -hmm. career for finding a job. <laughs> and then, uh, master's degree in historic restoration from the University of Vermont in 2005. And so there was a class on this, and then it's basically become like, you know, you take that class and you just keep doing it and doing it, and eventually you get better at it. <laughs> There's not a lot of really great classes out there. Like if you want to go out and say, like, I'd like to learn how to do pan analysis, it's either a full on master's program or art conservation, you'll see a lot of people doing stuff like this with the fine arts. 
Um, but obviously that's even more detailed. They're using like scanning electron microscopes and um, X-ray fluorescence and stuff like that. Since we're just worried about painkillers here, there's no need to charge like thousands of dollars a sample. Which we appreciate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there are folks that do that, but again, if you're just looking for the colors mm -hmm. and if it has lead paint or not, I can do that pretty easily. Um, and then there's like a whole, like I say, another level of education if you want to get to, okay. like, you know, what exact element was used to create this color? Was it a, you know, something that was brought from a certain part of the country, is that sort of thing? And it's great, but it's like, to what extent do you really want to know that? How, how, how in depth do you really want to go? Yeah. As far as the pigments. Right. And then I think we saw, um, I had to reread my report real quick because it's been a few, little bit of time, but there was that early period where the house was built in 1892, and you guys can certainly correct me because you guys have been 1892. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said 1982. Oh. <laughs> it sounded like from here. Yeah. Um, the front section of the house there, that was not this block here, right? right. So it's no. just that section up there. And it looks like they had a bit more, of course, my thing ended up in black and white, but. Um, a bit more of a brownish color. It seems like I actually pulled something up now. For whatever reason, it's only mirroring that picture this way. It's not showing me anything. Like that. No, you look perfectly right. If if you pull up what's on your flash drive <coughs> on your screen, it'll show up there. Yeah, my screen shows nothing here. It's a oh. blue screen. Yeah. And this is. This. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Yeah, see, I don't know what's going on with your screens. So there was uh, the biggest couple layers. I think we saw in a few of the samples that it was just um, a couple layers of brown, and it was mostly a monochromatic scheme at that time. And then there was like a black layer, which I'm presuming was probably a primer because it was very thin. And then you start seeing the, the colors that were, you know, from the later on years. It's more of like a orange and off orange, brown and off orange, something like that. Yeah. So this color seemed like they made any sense to you guys, or was that weird? It, it, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, because <laughs> given where we're at today, mm -hmm. um, so I think a, a curious thing would be kind of from that time period of the, um, of the addition mm -hmm. in, in 1906, um, I think it'd be interesting to know what kind of coloring it was that in that year, right? That time period. Because the front porch was really built. kind of the focus to get back to in, in, in discussions with Anne McClee. The, the objective for, for the grant was to um, bring the paint yeah, back to the yeah. significant period of time. Mm -hmm. And that significant period of time was when the Palatines did this massive addition mm -hmm. to the home. So I think that is something that would be really interesting to show everyone what color mm -hmm. that was we're in time range. Because it's Windows, so I don't know what to do. Okay. Um, Sorry about that. I have no idea. <laughs> it's it's a, because it's uh it's looking for another monitor. Because of how the grant's written and because of of what we're doing with the windows and everything else, we're trying to keep it at a certain time period and I think and that's kind of where we're at. So it sounds to me with the brown it's what they could get, and that's what they used. Um, and again, that was before the addition and everything was put on, and that was the original owners. So, but they they gave it to us in 1938. So really, we could look at any of the colors between 1906 and 1938, and they were all picked out by the Callahans. You know, so any one of those would be we like be better than the original. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, they're still. I mean, the Callahans put them on there, so they. They had some say in it. It's not like the city came in and painted it that color. So, but the focus was to go to a significant period of time, and that was something that we was very specific about. But it Our, could be 1938. Yeah, that's we, we picked 1906. Yes. And plus, the Stallions may not have liked that color. That's why they repainted it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was their house. It was their house. Yeah. house. Yeah. When they did the addition, of course, then they they, they uniformed everything. Sure. And I think that is a significant period of time that we're looking to. to, to well, yeah. We can leave it open. We so. certainly yeah. can leave it open. Yeah. I but I think that's just smart thing. I think we need to decide if we like the color. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, and if it will wear well. Yeah. Um, if it truly is a really dark color, mm -hmm. that may not be a good choice in the interest of not paying mm -hmm. every two years or four years. Mm -hmm. And then we need to think about that, please. Yeah. Yeah. And in that circumstance, I think it would be 
helpful to know um, um, options of colors through the years. And then we can present them to Anne and say, what do you suggest? Because I really want to do, do the right thing by History of Colorado mm -hmm. and what would be acceptable to them. So. And the recommendations, I think we, we take it all in. I, again, I agree, we don't, we don't limit ourselves. But I, I also know paint is so much better than it used to be. And even if we go with a dark color, I have a dark forest green that's lasted forever mm -hmm. on my other use. It just depends on where it is and what type of paint we're using. Yep. So again, I think it's open for discussion and we just keep it as open as possible. Well. And then we well, all we're certainly not going to need to make a choice at any time. Not soon, because yeah. they're not going to paint until it's warm enough to paint. Mm -hmm. Right. What? Yeah. <laughs> it has to be at least 50 degrees. Or My bottom out there painting in the freezing cold. Mm -hmm. Having it bubble because it's frozen. Mm -hmm. So I was just picking these guys out. So I think the front porch up there, its final form is the 1904-1906. Okay. Now that one there was a white base layer, which is pretty common for a primer. It wasn't super thick. And then you had like this orange and brown sort of um, color scheme, which is what the rest of the house was basically at that time. So it looked like that was like all part of the same color scheme. Mm -hmm. at 19, this is the 1906, at least, at least at that point from 1890. 1992. This is the oldest color scheme, which is just like this. You can pass it around if you want. That's like that lightish brown. This is kind of the original. original yeah, original. I didn't see like a lot of variation <coughs> colors, so I think that was like all the trims, all the sort of brownish color. Okay, so and they went to this to that, to like base, and this would be like the, the brighter color is the, uh, the highlights essentially. Yeah. So then you got that scheme going on, so basically for everything else. So the body and then like the tree. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So the body is the lighter color. I also think we have to take into mind, you know, the how easy it was to get paint. What kind of paint colors could you get? Right. In this area at the time. And they were using the lens and Yeah. So mm -hmm. a little stuff. I think that's a trail that we To me it's just say so. the same water banding years. This is history. It is interesting. It is, history. It is, yeah. It's history. I wish I had my little mouse with me. Yeah. 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 So I so just so have to hold the check for the color. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's that's good. Good. Yeah. 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 Ye
more than stars. Yeah, they didn't have the gold walls like Molly Brown House, I guess, did that. Right. And they had yeah. gold on the walls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. They love it. Red If you think about it, it might have also, with it being more muted colors, they would have the windows and the decoration of the windows. Mm-hmm. That's true. And, and the house. That's so beautiful, leaded windows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I assume you got in front of the color scheme of like when the house was in its final form from that point forward it would be like 1906. Yeah, at least 1906. Yeah. 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 Every 10 years or so, you've got like a whole new scheme. Yeah. Yeah, this used to be two rooms here. Yeah. You can see where it was yeah. the original house. And this is the new part that was in um, this section here. It was, it, you know, the son's bedroom, correct? Right over here? Correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. And Allison's. It's good to be here. Yes. It does. Yeah. Yeah, the, the um, wall was removed shortly after it was given in 1938 so that they could have a larger meeting in the first place. And then there's a parquet with flooring underneath? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. The borders. Yeah, because there's a door on it. Yeah, right. and there's, a, there's a, I was still thinking. Yeah, he has pictures of the the floor park. and he did, yeah, the flooring. Which would make sense because then this would yeah, be the done. hall. Yeah. So there's two strips of parquet on either side, side of that door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not the same. And there's not um, this wall. Yeah. Nice. Um, oh, so they took out, there must have been like, they could have had two of these. Yeah, and supporting. Well, maybe this was a supporting. This one. This one. Yeah. I think that's this is the back wall. That's a weight-bearing wall. That was the original weight-bearing wall of the back. The back yeah, there was the house, mm-hmm. and so and then, this would have just been a false wall of some kind, um, what was just that to time? create that. Yeah. Yeah. But that makes perfect sense that with you could consider lack of lighting so and having that mm-hmm. there it is mm-hmm. and south facing. That would be a perfect fit yeah. right along. Yeah, it's actually yeah. really pretty light into that hall. Yeah, yeah. Right. Or, yeah. like for techie yeah. problems. Yeah. yeah, it's restarting again. So. <laughs> And stuff though was real interesting because right. it was very earth colored yeah. for a long time. And then those candy colors, you know, and then the strong purple and all the real deep things that you're we had one conversation and the recording is not going to say anything. It was just for conversations. Yeah. Those were most finding it. I mean, because you see on the screen. Right, right, exactly. Right, exactly. But yeah, you can see that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
this color. This color. All right. So the body. Yeah. Could you could you tell everybody what you were just telling Lorraine about the Queen and Victorian? Oh, so um, the balcony of the wall. Like so this the balcony over here. Victorian the, stuff was. Uh, what she was on the wall, so they went from in like very muted tones to the those tones, like this terracotta yeah. stone, and then they would trim it out similarly in the same family. So that was kind that of like, yeah, surprising, but it's not surprising because it goes with that whole thing. And you know the so wood uh, clapboard kind of gingerbread houses, you know, yeah. with the real filigree right. gingerbread stuff. They were the ones that went with those bright purples and and pinks and you know the right. bright colors yeah. and um, maybe they look like little toy houses, I guess. Gingerbread, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 shields, yeah. yeah. But um, the shield on this a stone scale. house or a brick house was a little bit more. So what they did, so what they did from you know the original to the 1906 to then kind of the next um, the next color generation, it went to this green. Oh, that's so great. Going exactly. from the night, kind of a. So which is the body and which is the trim? So these are the shingles on this little balcony over here. Oh, okay. So here's the wood of the shingles here, so you can see all the cells of the wood. Sure. And you add a couple of years, maybe, of that orange, then a couple of years of that light green and white for the rest of the time. And 1978 is right around here somewhere. That's about the best I can do in terms of like what time frame that happened in because of the test positive for lead. Uh, lead was out all in 1978 for use of paint, so it's test positive theoretically it's 1978. Could you pass the other color? The original, the, yes, no, the, no, 19, the, the, the original, the, green. the one that goes with the green. It doesn't go with the green. That's the significant color change. This is this is original to the house. This is 1906. Okay, and that's the shingle. And that's and the next mass significant color change. And these are shingle also. That's the next significant color change. What it went from to. So, so but there there wasn't a different trim color. Uh, let's see, the trim color, this would be on the shingles over here, so the trim of the wool is around the shingles. Good morning, Kayla. Good morning, Ben. The lower trim below shingles. So here would be the trim. We had things at the bottom, so. Red was wonderful, by the way. Orange and green. It was, so it looks it was like so they kind fun. of followed the yeah. same yeah. pattern. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was so much fun. Yeah. 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 Everybody knows that. Shout outs to the to the And I said, I'll never get out. And then poured the waters and got up there. And the kids were really nervous about getting there. So the trim below, the L balcony over here, that's the shingle part you got there. This is the trim below the shingles. So they went with dark green and light green to kind of differentiate. <laughs> so the body that has is the lighter green and the trim was the darker green? Oh, the body of the shingles. I, I'm, I'm yeah. not sure what you're referring to. The shingles. shingles on the outside, this uh, balcony here. Okay, this just, the, the, just the scout piece right. of spread. Mm -hmm. They were the lighter green, so that and this one. Right, so it looks like they went from like a, a light orange to a brighter orange originally in 1906 or so. And they went from like a light green as the body and the darker green is the highlight. That's yeah. it. That was what I was trying to ask. Yeah. Okay. Is there a way to tell the age or like no. the, you know? See, that's the trick. If it tests positive for lead, I know it's 1978 or before, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can't like, you can just tell by yeah. the layers. Right. And they didn't always use lead. So sometimes in the so, burial, right. will test clean and it's like, oh, okay, well, I love you know, that. There's no real test my Right. Yeah, but does the condition of the paint, and that's contrast with the yeah, If it's super exposed, it might not even be there, but it's really heavily elevated. It's going to be modulated, so they're really heavily elevated. I can choose. It's going to look more difficult. That's when things like the scanning electron microscopy can come in and give you a better idea of exactly what elements were used to create this. That's a better idea. 
That's true. That you can use linseed oil at this point forward. So, yeah. that we can, so did you find uh, four layers of toner? How many? Uh, so let's be on the shingles. There's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh. Oh, wow. Because you have to paint it so well. Beautiful. Yeah. But it's like, why do they know? Yeah. But it's down. They didn't scrape it. It's not even happy. Hardly ever clean it all. Yeah. So you can see, like, like the layers of dirt. Well, they just go over the top of the dirt. They just go over the top of the dirt, yeah. They didn't have power washers or what? In theory, you're supposed to clean everything off and get it ready for paint, but typically it's just a soft soap. Sorry for my butt in your face. <laughs> here, here, let's put it on the white so you can get a little bit yeah. of these. Right. Oh, it's it's white. Eyes. Eyes. You can do it, do it. So you can order drawdowns from the Moncel company, which is um, basically just a eight and a half by eleven sheet of that one color. It's like thirty or forty dollars per sheet. Um, but it's one of those like guaranteed shelf stable <laughs> images. So if you want to, you can walk around with sheets. <coughs> They there. change every time they load new software. My camera changes. So I've heard that. Yeah, uh, no customer service has been yeah. difficult lately. Yeah, it's hard not just three it. times. And so that's why I provide the uh, like here's the closest available commercial match paint. If you want, to just go get a good one. Because if you want it to be like 100 percent exact, 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 you have to basically contact me and I can bring that paint chip to you and you can get your paint Thank store. Thank you. Sorry. Like well, you're good. This goes about dollars, so it's not the cheapest thing in the world. <laughs> Hey, I thought so too. Around twenty five hundred bucks. Investment in your expertise, right? Yeah. I pulled up this one. So this is the trim on this balcony uh, over here, below the shingles. So we had you know, the orangey color we talked about. That's the original. But they had a bright red at some point. And they had the green we were just talking about. And they had the green green scheme. And they have like a pinky color and a less pinky color, and then orange, 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 and then dark brown. And so you can see they really went through a lot of fluctuations here. But I can't really tell you like 100% this color layer matches up with this other color layer from a different sample. You know, you can count layers, but if they painted one thing, they didn't paint the other thing, and all of a sudden the counts are off. I, I like that that chip display. It gets a lot easier to see than the sideways one. Yeah. 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 <coughs> Is that cut at an angle? Is that Right, so here um, it's like you flick in the flat awesome. paint like this, it's like you flip it sideways and chopped it in half. Uh -huh, so right, it's yeah. Side angles. So, so here's the cells of the wood. And this is the first layer of paint as it mm -hmm. soaks into the wood. Out of pure curiosity, what it's hard. To, what would the red be? Could you show us a chip? Sure. The red that looks pink? Which yeah. red? No, no it's one for the green. Right, right. The green painted a bright red. Like what you paid for Christmas or something. Yeah. No, I'm just seeing that really thick layer that looks That's all there pink. Is a little Those are all pink. Yeah, they're green. Yeah, I see it. It's barely under Yeah, it's just a barely Maybe they put that on and said, oh no. That's exactly what I was saying. What were we thinking? Yeah. I painted the whole interior of my first house that we built the wrong color and walked into my house and went, so it might be this interpretation of the eye that might be the that these layers survived better one to other. You know, had more time in the sun. So it's more rust. It's not red. Theoretically, since we're looking at the side, it's an exposed layer would be on the top, and it shouldn't really affect my. So it's another another shade of rust. Use a little bit off. If they're being custom blended, which they probably shouldn't be, but it's that kind of area. Yeah, that kind of area. So yeah. since the green is thicker, yeah. it's it's so they kept the green, green and put more layers on it. Oh, it's far more rust than some things. Yeah, it's so thin, it's by the same time. The green is pretty thick, they might not be able to make those. Yeah, that's true. Can I ask you a question on 
since the green layer is so much thicker than the red that's directly under it, would that indicate that the green might have been there and they paint they liked it so they painted it again? Is that could, why it's thicker? That could be. It could be the um, <clears throat> the person did the red layer just gave it one coat and they called it good. Mm -hmm. Could be they did a proper job on the green. It could also mean that they went back and did it a couple times. Mm -hmm. Trying to sometimes you can see a dirt layer. So like I said, they typically don't clean the paint as well as they should. So sometimes you can see a little layer in there. Um, I can try to pull it back up again, but it's on my microscope so you can see it. The thick of the layer usually means <coughs> more than one coat. Except for something like this, where you can tell that it's just kind of slopped on there heavily. Right. You can see where it, you know there's a drip and it's settled there. Mm -hmm. This is a very very tiny little sections of paint, but that one little drip could be quite large on the screen. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. It is. It's so interesting. The acrylic makes it a lot easier. Like when I was taught in grad school, they basically said like melt some wax and set your sample on there and try using a razor blade to scrape it relatively across the edge to see if you can get any of it. You can't really see it too well, and especially on a microscope. Your depth of field is very precise. It has to be right. going up and down all the time to see if you can see all the different layers. With this, I just kind of grind it flat, polish it down to about six thousand grit. Nice. Pretty clean, but you can still see little bridges here on the right. uh, under the but that's probably 250 magnification. So. Wow. And that's, that's the dark green, right? Um, the yeah. darkest green we've got. Yeah, yeah, it's the dark, dark one. Yeah. yeah. What does the lighter green look like in the samples? I mean, this one all the way up here? So the one that went no, the, the one that one. went that you thought went with the dark green. Oh, the lines that it would have come from that minute. Do that right. Yeah. yeah, so it's these two rooms, I believe. What's your question? I just wanted to see the chip for the other oh, the color of green. <coughs> this is the one this is the lighter green that's shown up around the house during that time period, so it would be those two greens. Do you have there. the chip? Do you have the chip though? Can, Can you show me the picture? The picture of it that that's like oh, the image. image. Mm -hmm. um, right. Uh, for which particular samples? For the, the lighter green. green. Is there a pink chip in it? Sure. If you have any. Let me pull up my team. Yeah. Should have that. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't really understanding the question. That's okay. <coughs> this is the red one. So the teeny tiny red one. I figured it was a mistake. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the lighter green right above the orange? Oh, oh cool. Yeah, there it is. But, you know, as you can tell, not a huge amount of time was spent on these reds and greens. Yeah. The majority of time was white. Whites. And by the way, some of these yellows, uh, most of the binders back in the day were linseed oil. And over time, linseed oil and yellow is yeah. not exposed okay. to the sun. Yeah. So these might have been a little bit brighter, but they weren't painted everything off white. They might have been brighter white, it's just simply um, aged to yellow over time. Yeah. It would be nice to know, like from 1906, like to make it four years, five years. Usually, um, the cycle for paint is about every five years. Yeah. So, you can probably say 1911 or so. But, yeah. is there anything major happening with the family? Um, we have no idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. unfortunately, we don't have that's when they were starting to get the rebuilds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, 1902, right? Yeah. It's the first run. Yeah. Well, we have to get the time that was going on in history. There was a lot of stuff going on. Um, World War One. I was just going to say that you saw more. Pandemic. Well, Expansion. arts and crafts was coming out. Yeah, definitely. So I'm trying to think if there's anything that's kind of going to make them feel like they're going to pull back and color some of house to go more like white, just to be foreign style. So the lights are so shiny, but brighter colors, brighter lights, just to kind of fit in a little bit more. Which happened after 1905. That's a that's a that's a the teens probably should be having the So most of these like the that were these the 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 very present time. He took those days. I was wondering if they were my face because of most of the colors of the first I've been way down to this is my guess. So again, usually these first, especially the more yellow ones, would be slightly positive for lead. Are you sodium sulfide and put that on the chip? It's lead, it turns out that layer black, mm -hmm. so it happens pretty rapidly too. So. If you look at the report, it by layer it said whether or not it was like paint or not. Right. Yeah. Just for the purposes of the So, mm -hmm. so I'm just 
Uh, the latest could be 1970. Well, it depends. Like 1978 is when it was not wallet, but a lot of people want to go out and stockpile because they like the old days paints. So it could have been used for many years in the future for as long as the paint's good for it. So it's circa 1978. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty difficult. I mean, yeah. The first layer is basically the, the easiest yeah, to kind of say, like, yeah. it, you know, it's, it seems like it's actually stored. And then 1978 and everything else in between is kind of like somewhere between, you know, creation and 1978. <laughs> <laughs> For the purposes of the recording, can we ask one question at a time and get an answer instead of having sidebar conversations because the recording is just going to be all this babble. Mm -hmm. So, did you have another question, Karen? Is there any, I think this answers it because of the, all the kind of yellow and white, but is there any other significant color after the rings? I think the most significant color schemes are going to be the orangey browny color scheme and then the green color scheme. I'm just going to flip through real quick here, but there's whites. I don't know if you want to say whites. I'm just seeing lots of orangey browny and greens as the initial colors. Yeah. And Connie, you said that the Brown, orangey, green, the browns and stuff were pretty typical of the way yeah, they that, the Victorians. Yeah. Right, I would not be surprised to see those colors on the house. Can they take a black and white picture from what's one of the early pictures we have of the house in the 20s, 1980s? We don't know. Exactly can the computer can then buy the black and white image? Can they generate the actual colors? Mm -hmm. They can guess, but you have to reference color typically. Yeah. Like, here's something that's still on the house that we know the color of. So you set the color to that and then try to reference all the different grays based off of that color. Oh, okay. I didn't know if they had a way to do it. It's kind of a guess, but yeah. It made me wonder, though, you know, the stationery that Tom used with his thank you letter, right? He used the 39, 38, 39. What, what, how is the house trimmed in that picture? It doesn't show the house, it shows the garden. Oh, no. that's just the garden. <laughs> how the garden oh, It's just the garden and the gate. Okay. It's just, just the garden. I was thinking it held over the house. No, it's it's literally pointed out towards the garden. Oh. I guess from the black and white that you could tell if it was a dark or See, light. that's a color picture. Oh, that's why I was asking. I remember, I remember a piece of the house when we met. Yeah. 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 So you, you basically were looking at the garden okay, the south and looking so, I did not bring that with me, but I didn't. Well, that's this picture. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. You can pass it around. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's no, the, yeah. the house isn't in it. Yeah, that's the house. I thought with computer technology, they could pull up the colors if they were in I guess not. Yeah, so they they didn't didn't it. Then, so I then he didn't take pictures of the house. No. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they stayed together. But see, what you're thinking is the house is, is a different. The dark. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Quite a twister. That's I thought. That's that is. 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 So this is the carriage barn, the barn board bullseye that I'm um, okay, that looks like a little bullseye. And I'm seeing the same colors on the carriage house as the 1906 colour house. And it's got the green in there again too, that's not green. Yeah, that's yeah. We call that orange, we call that brown. Orange. Yeah, so that's like the orange scheme was on yeah. the carriage barn at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
Nine weeks later. Which I don't wow, I'm sure they were being needed for. Yes, they were. They were. You know, one thing that I know that had been paid as much as the 1970s. I think the difference was the years. 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 I think the 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 you can also have a painter mock it up to make people want to be like, we like yeah. this one better, here's the reason why we like it better. Exactly. Here's a photograph, a black and point, at the waffle breakfast, but it's got a good example oh, of the contrast of the trim. It's very definite contrast, dark and white, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think you'd get that kind of contrast with the color that we've got here, too. Mm -hmm. it's like, yep. Can't quite say that's the. Which one it is. Yeah, which one it is. Yeah. yeah. And so, if you pull that up, what color no, is that? Wrong. No, yeah. 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 it's black and white pictures. Yeah, but yeah, yes. I have to do it. Yeah, yeah I think we're going to see old pictures that have been colorized. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah but they're kind of crazy. Kind of <laughs> She's all these pink faces. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think the whole point of this is probably do you want to pass it around? Yeah, yeah. I'll pass it around. Yeah, wait, hold on to it. Because there's nothing. It's kind of stuff. That's all my stuff. Really. And it's got the, the um, <coughs> covers too, which are very cool. Mm -hmm. um, I think I it's important that we do the storage, but we also need to make, make sure that it's for today too. The stone is the yeah, if you notice the color of the stone, which hasn't changed, couldn't they use that as a base color? Right, that's what I was going back to the reds. Yeah. Well, I mean, they would pick up a different color, so you would say, computers are smart enough. Sometimes. Computers are smart. Computers are smart. Yeah, they should have a color of grit, right? I think everything else is smart. That they can do that with the color. So what are we talking about now? What I asked what I asked Phil is um it for the whites, obviously white can be varying in whites. What is the closest white that would be appropriate to kind of identify with? In the event that if we went, you know, with greens and we wanted a third color, mm -hmm. that would be white. What? Which white would that be? So in other words, if we wanted to like do the bullseyes, do the trim in a dark green, and do something different, well, although we could pull out the reds too, yeah. or the oranges. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, but I just since we've got those here and identified them. Sorry. I can't thank you. You know, and it really is I just thought it was the appropriate street to find out the white since we've got the you know, 10 colors. Right. Right. What would be an appropriate white if we wanted to include it? You said it's a trim color or a detail so, color, right? Yeah. So this is the shade, or the next shade lighter of the white. Okay. So this is probably, you know, the age things you know, mm -hmm. just this. This is probably about as close as. Alongside them, so that when we Take get to the picture. point where we're well, but that's not going to help us mix paint. So, you have the formulas for the paint colors, is that correct? Yes. To get those colors, yeah. can you just give yeah. us a report on that? We don't need to do it today. I can just send you 
Because I should take care of the sure. taxi. Yes. I could just send you a picture of the taxi, and then that makes it easy for you. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I gave the color is orange, but I can certainly do the same with the green. And the white, please. Oh, and the white, yep. And then, would you pass that around so everybody can see it? Kathy, when did you send his report? I sent it as a link in one of the manager's reports, and I honestly don't know, but I can resend the link. Would you like me to do that? Please. Let him know. Because I'm, I'm, it's it's an an report. It was in the report. I missed it. I missed it, too. Okay. Easy access to all the reports. That's fine. I'll just resend it. Done. So at this point, does anybody else have any more questions at this point in regards to the presentation? I have one question. Did you get your check? Uh, uh, for sure. Good. Thank you. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. This is fascinating. It is. Do you have any questions for us? I don't think so. So you, you've got the orange colors laid out here, a match at least to a commercial color. But I can also give you the RGB code, the CMYK code. You can take all those things to a. Well, the paint's going to be Sherwin Williams, probably. Um, so if you could give us the codes for that, that would be amazing. And it would move us one step closer to having all appropriate information for the contractor. Yeah. I can find the closest currently available match. Um, but you, if you'd like, I can always bring these samples by at some point too. You can just take them to short and say, make me a custom match that right. completely matches this. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, it's going to trigger my chase, Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I've had to do that on several occasions because people keep having a hard time um, finding the right, the right contract to find. It's a shadow from the camera. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the problem. I see hope that you camera yeah, over it. Can't see the real colors and not bug you. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> if we could get it in with just yes, do that one shot. Yeah. So, Kathy, do so you think that would be the best option for you? Is if you brought the chips, we took them, and then we had a match right off the bat, rather because he's saying that it's going back and forth a lot on those colors. Uh, let's let's just discuss how we're going to do it once we get to that point. We're certainly not there yet. So you and I, you and I can pal up about how to handle it. Yeah. And no matter what, they're not going to be exact, right? We'll get close, but they're yeah. not going to be exact. Well, they don't have the lead in them, so there you go. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, once they're on the house, nobody's going to nobody's know that nobody's going to bring that shit and go like this. No, right. or, uh, yeah, they'll they bring a lot of them. Endeavor not. <laughs> you guys might. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Uh, I, won't. I think having matches will be the most accurate. That is the, that's the most accurate way to do it. I provide the closest yeah, commercial match right. in case people don't feel like going to the house and they just kind of want to get close. But and this is going from oldest to, to um, Yeah, orange is the oldest. Okay. Yeah, that's what There's, I And I think the bottom line is all about art in showing to the to, um, historical. So we have to take that one? Okay. Um, well, I'll have a discussion for another day. So we're yeah, going to get yeah. time to do that and uh, not to be rude, but we're going to move on yeah. to yeah. this. And thank you both Thanks for having me. So, any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 As you go along, just let me know. So we're going on to the managers, the house managers report, and, and Kathy will be ready. It was a busy month. Uh, we had three revenue events, which is an unusual number of revenue events for November. Uh, they all went quite well. It was, um, we did a bunch of weddings, uh, two weddings and a birthday party. And um, I gotta shut this down so that he can have his black shirt back. <laughs> so, um, so um, it was a busy month. We're also doing a lot of um, lucky lose for events for next year. Um, nothing, nothing really, you know, it was just busy. 
nothing noteworthy. Club renewal. The only thing I didn't put in the report is club renewals are chugging along. So, and so far as I know, all of our current clubs are renewed. Good. So. Oh, one last question. Do you want all the paint chip samples so that in the future if you have somebody else that wants to research them, they're already very cased in resin, they're not going to go anywhere. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Here's the sample, remainder of the samples that are in cast in resin, but they're all labeled, so it's kind of a <laughs> mixed box. But there you go, there's all your Thank samples. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I guess the only other thing I'd mention is we're up to 16. Revenue events for next year, which is probably the most I've ever had going into the new year. So I think that's, yeah, I did it again. I think that's um, very encouraging for next year. People are feeling like they can really yeah. plan. Mm -hmm. Well, and the other, the other comment I would have is for the most part, um, it seems like people are re reducing the sizes of their weddings in particular mm -hmm. and um, going for more meaningful, smaller events. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which is really good for us, yeah. you know. So um, our sweet spot, I think, is you know seventy five and under. Mm -hmm. And I, I also picked up another March wedding, another indoor wedding. Thank you, Phil. Bye. Thank you, Phil. Great, so interesting. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. So um, it's just chugging along. Great. Lots and lots of interest. Is there uh, anything particular? Um, <laughs> Did everybody have it? First of all, did everybody have a chance to read the report? Yes. Do you have any questions? Yeah. I just want to know how that wedding went when it was such a cold day. Like yeah, it, we, we did it all inside, and it was it was beautiful. Um, it was it, interestingly enough, it was probably one of the most meaningful um, vow exchanges I've ever seen. Wow. Um, they they it was, they were so in love and so sincere, and they wrote beautiful vows. Um, she actually has a background in uh, creative writing, and their other vows were gorgeous. So we moved it. In fact, it was right kind of funny. Mom yeah. walked in the door, and she said, she looked at them, and she said, "I hope we're doing this all inside." <laughs> So we did, we did it all inside. Well, I thought about that all day long. Right there where the screen's at. It did good. good. Oh, oh, that's sweet. That's nice. Yeah. So it was lovely. Great. I have a few questions. Okay. Um, so the PEO chapter JH Society is listed here. That's, that looks nice. You have it listed out to the side as a club? They are a club. They're not, they're not a house club. They're not a house club. Okay. Um, and then um, the Domino Group uh, first. Okay. Is that is that a new or returning? It's it's a it's, it's the same people on a different day with different members. So the, the core the, the two or three members who yeah, formed that so club people with um, wanted to do it twice a month, but not everybody is signing up for both mm -hmm. dates. So I'm treating it like two different clubs. Because it's going to be different people on different days. Okay. I have to ask, what's my different? Returning, but a different membership. Yeah. Yeah. So it's members? an expansion slash new club. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good though. And then the other new club is the um, Torca Book Club, and um, they're new. What is that acronym? Um, it's the Corvette Club. The, do the Domino Group came from the Corvette Club too. Oh. Okay, now back to the domino group. What do they do? Play dominoes? They just play dominoes. Oh, okay. Mexican train. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Mexican train dominoes. Mexican train. Yeah. Yeah. Mexican train. Uh, Mexican train. Mexican train. Texas 42. Well, I didn't know they were good. I always played 15. Oh, Kansas yeah. 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 yeah, they have a really good time. So how many, how many members are in each of those new returning groups? So you've got the domino group that's... The domino group has a membership of about 10. Um, at the moment, I don't know exactly what the second group's going to be because they're still farming and paying dues. So I don't, I don't have, it's seven or eight. And the Torque and Blue Club is about eight. Nice. They're both fairly small, but they're nice, they're nice sized clubs for us. Mm -hmm. And wow. Torque and Blue Book Club is meeting on Thursday for the rest of the year, but they're going to start meeting on Tuesdays mm -hmm. in 2023. Okay. Then, um, do they? I know they have their club activities. 
but do they have any um, philanthropic interest or community? Um, I don't ask those questions. Um, yeah, that's and then for um, the registration for our Sand Open House, how, how many reservations were there? And how many were no show? And I didn't tell you that, but I haven't done it yet. We had 232 people come, and we had a few no-shows, but it wasn't very good. Yeah, I need to talk to Sam about how she marked up the sheets. So <laughs> I haven't had a chance to do that. Okay. I think it's neat, though, that we received $185 in donations. It is that easy. Thing. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're so that's amazing. Cool. And we had one little girl try to pluck a $5 bill and yeah. take yeah. it home. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she was kind of sitting out of the slot and she reached up and she went like this. And she received. She's got it in her pocket. You know what? Oh! That's what I was pretty funny about that when they was taking We had the the usual Santa that we normally have here. We had yes. Santa Pete. Mm -hmm. We had the original that we had. We had him at our church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But we also had like 150 kids sign up. And then after that, they got to go and shop for their siblings and parents. And then they went to a rally oh, nice. room. Oh, that's then they went oh. to, I mean, they went. That's yeah, cool. they had it so organized. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. That's but great. He, he was doing good. You know, he's doing much smaller events. Yeah, he's happy because he has to walk in the door and put his throw there. And, uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, I want to ask me. So, do either of those go back to start saying the events? I don't know if you own that or not. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. I mean, they're based yeah, on the Corvette Club. Yeah. Yeah, so probably. Probably no. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. Story. It is. Yeah, it's it's a story. Yeah. Story. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Yes. And then when are the interviews scheduled for the grant? The interviews have been completed. Oh, okay. And then um, are we expecting you know, to have Carrie and Ozzy come back to? to uh, at the moment, there's nothing scheduled. Have we arranged something since you've got interviews completed? What's the next? What's the next step? Um, when there, I mean, when there's a decision, if we want them to come back, we can certainly schedule that. We we're not anticipating a decision until after the first of the year. Decision regarding the choice of um, oh, contractor. Okay. Oh, I missed that. What do we know? Well, I guess we're still in the manager's report, but we're also doing old business A. Oh, okay. Apparently. Okay. Well, I'm on, I'm just on the report, and from what I read, I just had those two questions. And that's all. So. After the first of the year. That's what we committed to because of holidays. Okay. So, do we have any more questions or concerns in regards to the house manager's report? Um, on the report or wait on the. Um, we're on the report. We're on the report itself. And financials. Honestly, if we could. If, and, the Callahan House annual report is, is a different that's a different subject subject. Mm -hmm. So um and and so um we're just on the report itself, the house manager's report itself. Do we have any questions <coughs> on the financials? If you look at the next sheet under special events, um, they're all listed. So we did a tour for a birthday party, we did a tour for a graduation, we did a tour for a 2023 welcome party, we did a tour for a choir, choir practice. So those four consisted of 10 attendees? Yes. Okay. Um, and then, um, since you also added 
did the Holiday Open House on December 14 under Open House's tour. Can we add um, Eric Wiesen's historic walking tours as a separate line item? So I'll do that for next year. Yeah. 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 which is again coming back to our year-to-date revenue versus um, year-to-date expenses. We have revenues listed as 151 approximately as a thing. And then expenses at 138 and And so that gives a, a balance of about $22,753.50. That is kind of the approximate amount that would be going into the calendar. At this time. Yes, and actually the numbers are much more correct on this sheet, which shows that we're a little under twenty thousand dollars. And and honestly, that's going to go down a little bit because this is a free paycheck month. So um, my guess is the number is going to be closer to fifteen or sixteen thousand dollars. Thank you. It's been a good year. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. So, we've gone through the financials of the house manager report. In my opinion, the house manager's report has been covered. Any other questions? Okay. Um, I need a motion for accepting um, the house manager's report. I make a motion. Can I get a second? I second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, moving on to um, old business. The um, status of the grant. We've kind of covered a lot of the grant um, issue with some of the questions, but um, I, do you have any more that information that you want to know? No, that's pretty much where we're at. The interviews are complete. Um, we're meeting again to talk about scoring, and we probably won't make a decision until after the first of the year. Okay, is there any way, that, um, because I know these people are very busy, is there any way that we could add them to our um, uh, the, the our manager or I'm sorry, mind fog. Um, the Callahan House Board meeting point. If we could get them on the calendar, so these people know that we'd like to see them at some point. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Are you talking about Carrie and Nazi? Carrie and Nazi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we'll add them when it's appropriate. I mean, when there's news, we'll we'll figure out that's appropriate to have them in the meeting. Well, it's a so. decision that's going to occur. And then it would be reasonable to have them either come to the January meeting if it's early enough in January or come to the February meeting. And that's fine. Let, let's just see how it chugs along and whether or not we have a decision. And if it seems like it's appropriate, you and I will discuss it and add it to the agenda. Okay. Um, moving on to the, um, we also discussed by going over. Um, Again, sorry, I apologize. I'm having a mind fog moment. Um, anybody else have any questions in regards to the grant? Okay, moving on to I Old Business B, Open Houses. Um, the Santa Open House we discussed in, um, in the House Manager's report, but I did want to comment um, quickly that I thought it was a wonderful event. I th thought it was really, um, handled quite well and lovely and it was cold but I, I think it went remarkably well and I do like how it went but I think for next year um, <coughs> we should take Anne's suggestion and look at, at putting um, it possibly in the um, auto house and um, then having the house open here um, for uh, additional views for a, a historic tour. And um, decoration thing. I, I really have a serious objection to putting it in the auto house because if the weather is bad, we have no way to make a safe entrance to the auto house. And we don't have any way to know that until we're close. The drive the drive is like a slip and slide. So is it? It is. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Side is that north side is particularly bad. It's really bad. bad. And it I collects water in a really 
Yeah, I really, I really have an objection to putting it in the outhouse, and I'm sorry. I, it's, I, I know that's been your dream, <laughs> uh, but I, I really do not want to. I really don't want to commit to that, and I, and I think it's, it's, it's unsafe. And I think, and, and honestly, I think the coordination to get people from the house into Santa becomes way more difficult. I think having a separate open house for just decor is the way to go. And, I, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Okay. I hear the concerns and I appreciate um, the safety issue. Mm -hmm. um, ideally, in a perfect world, we can just make it so there's no ice anywhere. I don't know how to do that. So I mean, even if we don't have bad weather, if we've had bad weather, it's so it's, it's, it's it, it, yeah. when it comes to a safety issue, people first. So yeah, um, question be first. Okay. Um, that being said, but I do have to say that the, the well, in Kathy's report, it addresses how kids enjoy the cinema. I also enjoyed learning about the history of the house. Mm -hmm. I thought that they were very receptive and very more. interested. Mm -hmm. And you know, we were tied in, you know, J.C. Penney, and mm -hmm. he got his start. Mm -hmm. And then say, guess what? He came to Longmont. Guess what his first business was? Mm -hmm. I think my no, a meat like, market. Yeah. And um, and yeah. did you know? And the, and that and they just went, mm -hmm. oh, that's interesting. And and there were several of them that had really excellent questions. Mm -hmm. My point was that uh, the way we've done it, now we have extra open houses, that solves the problem, but mm -hmm. basically the Santa was the only um, open house we'd have in December, and the only people that got to come were families with kids. We had, you know, we didn't let other people, so uh, that's why I don't put them over there. And just, yeah. right. But yeah, I can see your point. Yeah. Yeah. But the other thing I, I think is it, it was really smooth. People almost didn't have to wait. Oh, um, just in fact, some people walked in the door and walked straight up to see Santa. The parents were so appreciative. Yeah. You know, no, exactly. um, and that's why we got so many donations. It's because yeah, it, it wasn't the usual stand in line for two hours to see Santa for 10 yeah. seconds. Right. Yeah. And Pete did an amazing job again. Oh, so, he, 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 he so was sweet. phenomenal. And the one kid that showed up with a notebook of written questions. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he was just he was, it was right so funny. on point, and I'm just like, boy. There were a couple times I had to walk out of the room so I could laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he even got the teenagers to smile and be part of and it. And take a picture. And, and it, it, was, it was really, again, it was a fabulous event. I just want to comment on, on how nicely done it was. It was really well done. That's in part why I was asking about how many were registered? Do we have open blocks? Did we have no shows? Because in your report it says we could have taken a few more on. And that's a great idea. Well, that we I, I will certainly time. analyze that. I need to talk to Sam about the list. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it looked to me like we had a few no shows, but what it looked like to me was people found out about the open house tonight and bailed uh, because we had a lot of single adults not show up. So that, and a lot is. Not a lot, but it, we had several, several, um, maybe ten, you know, single adults just not show up, and they may have just said, "Oh, I'll just go on the 14th. But so we didn't. We only had one or two families that didn't show. Up. That's helpful to know. Yeah. In, in the broad scheme of things, I still think we did a good mm -hmm. uh, range of numbers, and it wasn't six hundred. We like, did more than last last year, so and, and it was much smoother. Yeah, it was very smooth. Yeah, yeah. So it was. It, it went very smooth. Yeah. I think this year's was, was enjoyable. Well, and Sam, it looked to me like Sam kept track of when people came in, so we put we they got to come up in the order that they came in the door. Yeah. So I think that. that was amazing. And she could come around and ask yeah. for certain family. Yeah. So I, I think it went really well. Seven hundred and thirty-two at Holiday Lights. Yeah. Well, right. Seven hundred and thirty-two kids. Oh. So so yeah. 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 That's their scene. Yeah. yeah. We were there Same for, Santa. Uh, yes. Santa. and That's watching it okay. and trying to, you know, it, it was packed. Mm -hmm. It was packed. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those lines were very, very long. Yeah. We've got about 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, 25 minutes. Minutes. Yeah. I, 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 will, I will try to move it along as fast as I can. Okay, let's go right on to the house manager's pictures update. Where are we ordering about ordering the thing? It's ordered. Oh, cool. It's not here yet, but it's ordered. Okay, then that's really all we have to say at that at this moment. Um, 
Suellen, I hate to, to, to it's just, done. It's done. You did. Wait, it's done. It's completed, and the files have been shared with Kathy. Um, and that was the the template with the restored uh, header that was passed around. Yeah, and um, I just shared it with, with the red that. borders for oh, all other it too. And things. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Well, wow. okay, yes. moving right along. Yes. Right, moving right along. Yes. Yes. Um, scrapbook. Well, um. Oh, I'm sorry. Karen and I met on Monday and got a lot done. Got the initial Karen one Cruz. started. Karen Cruz. Karen Cruz, I'm sorry. Thank you. And uh, looked at some past scrapbooks that were still missing pieces, so I went through it just uh, from the the 75, 75th anniversary mm -hmm. uh, ice cream social that we did in 13. We hadn't put any of the pictures in, and so I just downloaded a bunch of pictures last night. I think I have pictures too. Good. Well, so that would be neat. just so you I know. just you know just as a sampling because we you know had the automobile and mm -hmm. barber shoppers and the ice cream, uh, the council and mayor that were serving the ice cream. So I'll add those to those pictures there, and then we started in on um, the. I had to buy a new book because my my book was so old that I was going to donate that they don't even make the, uh, the pages anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, we're starting over again. So I got a really pretty piece yes, that went did. with that Callahan house, and um, we've got pages, you know, put in and kind of doodads. And things and left some blank spaces for things, but um, you still didn't do it. Starting okay. up, yes, I got that printed out, and I'll get that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> question, and I, I do have a question in regards to the scrapbook. Mm -hmm. So, do you have pictures like when of uh, us decorating the tree and stuff last year? And yeah, I, I've got taking I pictures. Did, did you take some? Mm -hmm. Those, Those are the kind of things that would be great to add. I think I sent it to everybody in the email last year. Yeah, you did. Did you? But I can send it again. Yeah. I can look on my email. Yeah, if you have an old email. But otherwise, I'll, I guess yeah, I'll have save it. all of that. So, so if anybody has pictures or anything that they could share and, and share with Connie, that would be amazing. Well, Connie's, Connie's <laughs> leading. I'll tell you what. So. I'll give you a little heads up. If, you'll mind, if you don't mind sharing them with me, I would love that. I mean, I'm hoping she said I'd like to kind of pick up it all. Do you want to do you want to let everyone take a look at that or a little bit later? Yeah, we can pass yeah. or we can pass it yeah, around. We you know, while we have it together. Okay. Well, in in between everything, maybe we can look at that in between um, our our uh, yeah. Yeah. our our. our, our That's just so, and can I see a show of hands of who still has scrapbooks? I have them all. You have them all. I I would really love. For them to come back to the house at some point. So. I know, I know. I, I think, and I do think that they they should also. Mm -hmm. Right now, they are safe. I have a fire safe that they are in. Okay. So I just want to make sure they weren't they scattered here. all over. Um, right? no, yeah. I have them all. They are safe, and I plan to pick up where she left off. Perfect. Get everything done. Get these. I still have some stuff in the scrapbook box, so just remind me and I'll get them to you. Paper clippings or you know newspapers and stuff. One that's right. Thank you. That's exactly what I was talking about. And I have lots of pictures. So if there's something specific that you'd like picture, like the 75th anniversary, I have pictures. Yes, we actually had a photographer that day. Wonderful. Yeah. So that's exactly. You want me to get those to you? That would be wonderful. Thank you. I'll just put them on a flash drive. Okay. Moving on, um, Connie, did you hear? I'm not trying to shorten this, but I, I know we're on a time thing. Is there anything else you wanted to add? No. No. Okay. Um, okay. Callahan House Advisory uh, Board Annual Report to the City. Um, we are um, working on that still. What's What's here is is still a rough draft, mm -hmm. and um, it's pretty pretty close to a done. Yeah, it's just, but it's still a rough draft, and and so this isn't ready to be voted on by yeah. the board. Yet. So um, I need to probably plan. I'm not sure what else you want to do to it. Um, I, I just want. I first of all, I think we should meet and talk about 
it, um, you know, what exactly we want to add into it, make sure that we've got the, um, our mission statement, just, just simple cleaning yeah. up. I think basically. Well, I, I did find all the for 2022. Yeah, and I gave yeah. it all to Kathy, so she's been through it to refine it and make sure things were accurate to what, what she knows about the house. Which so is, the, really the, the only thing we don't have are, like you said, the year end. Right, and, and I have financial information. It wasn't right? clear to me what you wanted for the financial year end. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. ask reports has been earned in rental revenue. And so I made a little note there. Yeah, um, that's but, nice. uh, And there are dates that I would suggest be, or years in particular, that I would suggest be included. Yeah. I went through and, and looking through past um, annual reports and just taking note of, okay, this is, these are things that they paid attention to that we do need to be consistent. And, and, and I made those notes, but I think that we do need to have yet another meeting that would include everyone who's interested um, to be able to bring with them any additions or changes or whatever. Yeah, right. One but of the big ones that I saw was missing was the clubs. Yeah, yeah. the ladies clubs. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. again, there's just simple little things that just, just a yeah. cleaning, yeah, a cleaning, yeah. Like fi finalizing. Okay. Well, and the number, the number I would, I mean, we can certainly put rental revenue in there, but I don't think that number really adequately reflects anything because there's also matching expenses that go with that. So we could put rental revenue, but I also think the the dollars added to the fund might be a, a, a good. I think that's a good additional line because I think that that helps um, um, separate. Right. Even rental profit sort of Well, the rental profit would be the amount we're adding to the, the yeah. So, so that would so. be the that would be the line. But yeah, and the other thing is, um, I want to make sure that we're we're splitting out that we're doing um, the the upkeep upkeep and and, and and that type is separate from historic preservation because we need to make sure there's a clear definition that there's the, 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 um... Regular maintenance is one thing, like yeah. year to year. Restoration and preservation is indeed a whole separate category. So well, I mean, most of the restoration and preservation we're doing is the grant. Yeah. yeah. So, so like, honestly, so I mean, we've right. done some stuff in the past, but in general, those numbers aren't going to be broken apart very cleanly. No. Mm -hmm. and, and, oh, by the way, the dollars that facilities spend on the house, we don't have any insight into it all. Yeah. None. So, none. Yeah. none. Okay, but that's good to just... It's still, it's still good to se separate. The two I think we should keep the grant in a separate bucket, and yeah. then if we have major projects that we take on that are more in the, the arena of um, so preservation and restoration... So I just don't know if you want to be part of this, or you want to be downstairs. I got here a little bit early, but... Downstairs is fine. Is that it? Okay. Yeah. So make sure Betsy. I'm not... I'm so square. I'm square. I'm supposed to be... Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. That's Betsy. All the tradition. When we get downstairs. I okay. Do think, I do think we need to include student volunteer hours. Um, that's something that's been in the past um, reports. I, I think this also is... Being, this is something we have very much to show, except for the yeah, just person. We don't have anything this year. We had nothing this year. Previously, we would have the student volunteer hours at the yeah. open houses. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. but because but we didn't have anything this year. But no, no, this, no we're, we're not this year, but we're, we're, we're certainly not. I'm not tracking that. No, I know you're not. I know you're not, but I need to know about it. So, so, um, so, so here's, here's the deal. I think we can discuss this at a meeting that we're setting up to finalize these things. Yes. And then this, that in particular doesn't need to be discussed at this point. Okay. And then we can bring it back in front of the board to, to have our approval or just vote. Okay? That's okay. good. All right. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping that we can do it. It is the holidays, guys, so I don't know how exactly we're going to work this. Um, can it go into January because we are we are the end of the year and, and technically and so most of the reports on the previous year happened the following year anyways right so I think we can go into January and that, and that was the original time anyway so um, truthfully maybe we can meet before the next board meeting um, Ladies, do you want to look at your calendars and figure out exactly how we're doing this or, or not? 
I mean, the bottom line is we're going to have a new board in January 1st. So, um, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, we'll have to set up the date, I guess, to work, work on that. Do you think it's reasonable to do it before the next meeting, or should we do it after? I think we should do it after. It's, it's a squeezy kind of Right after, then you really you give it a little bit of time to get the final December. I mean, we don't have the true final December stuff to say, like, to like May or right. August, June. But yeah, I understand. So we can get a pretty solid. Mm -hmm. yeah. just get, okay. So right after that, maybe right after that. One. So maybe yeah. we wait until um, to set the date. Until I, yeah, we won't have good December numbers until the middle of January. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, right. Because until the key cards go final, yeah. this. We don't have good numbers. Um, okay. yeah. And I do know that because Connie and myself and Karen have been working on this, I think I understand you're stepping off the board, but we'll still need <coughs> your um, uh, okay and approval of it because you know that you're probably right. right Actually, only the um, chairperson and the house manager signed this board. Right. Yeah. yeah. So she's welcome. To we'll send it to you. Welcome to us. That's fine. You go with me. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you for that, that statement. Okay. Um, moving right along to um, the board recruitment status. We're we're still but we're just waiting. The um, council interviewed all the candidates on December tenth, which was last Saturday, and we have not heard anything. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Uh, under new business, and we have shifted the um, how a open house on the fourteenth to new business. Um, so. You know, for the Christmas um, pack up, maybe that's a January item. Should we um, move that to the January? We, we can certainly yeah. move it to January as long as everybody understands it's it's going to be like short notice. We're going to sit there and on the 11th of January and pick a January date to do it. Right. You're okay with that? Okay. Okay. Right. I think that's a good decision. Um, and then, the, oh, Oh, yes. Well, I, I have to give a free. Yes, you'll need to come and join us. Yeah. So you can get to do. You did. You, you left your boxes here, did you not? So we, we could pack it for you too. So it, we'll. Um, I'll reach out to you and we'll figure it out because it doesn't. It, it would be nice if it was on the same day because we'd love to see you. But it doesn't have to be. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um. So. Back. So we've already. Handled the Christmas um, decor packet, but I do want to move back on to the holiday open house on the 14th um, because that is new business. And I want to make sure that um, because clarification that it was brought up at the um, decorating thing that the board wasn't aware of that. Um, yet, we just added it because of all of the questions, all the requests to see the holiday decor. Mm -hmm. And honestly, your your presence tonight is welcome, but it's not mandatory because we're just it's just an opportunity for people to walk through and see the trees. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it's great. I am really happy about it. But obviously, it was added a long time ago because it made the yeah because it made the the um, I added it after the November meeting. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, so it's pretty but, but didn't it make the the um it went to because, because Sue Ellen it went to did Friday heroic Friday. things for us. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So so I thought that printing when from speaking in the past that that we had to have all those all anything into you by February for that to make the that catalog. No, there's a deadline for every catalog. Yeah. yeah. It was the end of October I asked for all the information. So like I can handle Quick things that can be nimble with something very small like this, mm -hmm. and um, because I've been in the board meetings and aware that of the passion to have people available to it, mm -hmm. we had that window to add it in, mm -hmm. and so we. I aired it. I, I'm sorry if I overstepped. So no, I no, I, I I think it's a right great now. overstep. It's just I want to make sure because it was very clearly. 
clearly, clearly, clearly to us that we are not supposed to be discussing anything. On this is a state house board. event. I set it up as a house, house event, event, not a board event. Okay. That's, right? So that's, that, that's the difference. I set it up as a house event. We committed, the house staff committed to do it. Okay. And you guys are invited if you'd like to be here, but it's not necessarily a board function. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah. I appreciate that. Just for the clarification for one. Okay. Um, on to um, other business. Um, in, unless, it, uh, yeah, on to other business. Um, does anybody have any other business that we need to discuss again at this point? That wasn't brought up. Okay. Moving on to the future agenda items. Um, open houses in January. <coughs> we'll be discussing in January. Club affair in January. Um, I also think that we um, should put on that the um, introduction of new board members and election of chair people for future agenda. That'll be on the agenda for January. January. I just want to make sure it's on yeah. the agenda. It will be. <coughs> um, and the posting is where we're going to post. Okay. So all the normal January things will be on the January agenda. Thank you. That's basically. Does anybody else have anything else that should be on the January agenda? I think we should be reviewing future house restoration and preservation projects just to be in the know about um, if there's something that is more urgent than we anticipated it to be. Mm -hmm. um, I think we should do that in February. I think we, with new members, okay. um, I, that would be a good thing for February. So can we list it as a February agenda item to, to be added? We also need to increase scheduling the working session for the club selection criteria for adding new clubs. But we can, and we can we can do this we can in the January meeting we can schedule the working session for later. With the new board members. Yes. Okay, I think that's a good idea. What it, what does anybody else think? Do you think that's a good idea? Works for me. <laughs> and just the other thing is that you're you're entering into a time with a lot of work at the house. Yes. Um, and that if the time became a, a, a commodity that it was somewhat limited, this criteria thing could really get pushed back pushed back quite a bit. Right. Because to add a add a club to the Stop their ability to attend because of the construction project. Oh, yeah, no. I, I, I am not gonna. I don't disagree with that, Swala. I think it's all about setting up the criteria. This has nothing to do with adding the clubs yet or putting that on because I think, personally, I, I think there's a clear understanding on my part that yeah, we've got all this restoration and stuff coming up, but we can certainly work on just getting your criteria set before we invite them. It can also come from this club up there, which is on the January schedule, because we're going to go back to talking about the club up there again. So it's kind of part and parcel. Yes. And so both are kind of, you know, it's appropriate to bring them up in January and then start to figure out how to go forward working, working on it, working through it. Um, I think it would be a good thing to introduce new board members or whatever to the, to the conversation, but um, depending on how that works. So, Everybody's getting their coats and purses on, and um, I don't know if it's just got chilly, but we're packing up and ready to go. Well, we're doing well. It's 11 11. Is there anything else that we need to discuss? So, how many people brought ornaments for the exchange? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Apologies. That's cool. Okay. And I don't know about that. But you're so much fun to watch when you open yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you? Hey, like, uh, okay. that was slippery wine. Right, right the couple days right now. All right. Okay. All right. So um, I just need to, if we have no other business, it's um, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.